Welcome to the Stone and Star Art Studio. Today we're starting a new series I like to call Little Darlings, where we'll draw some of my favorite Disney princesses. So all you need is a piece of paper, pencil, pen, and maybe some watercolors, and let's get started. So the first thing we'll want to do is sketch out Belle's head. So it'll be kind of a fat oval, and this version will be a very cartoony, almost like a chibi. So the second line here, that is the gesture line because she'll be kind of leaning forwards like she's just really enjoying the outdoors and running around. To start with the arms, I'm just kind of giving it a gestural sort of look so I know what direction she wants to go. She's holding up a book in her right hand and then her left hand is just kind of gracefully trailing behind her. To kind of balance out our large chibi heads, I'm doing this big poofy little ball gown and then cute tiny little feet at the bottom. These two lines here will kind of show the direction that her legs are going so we can get an idea for the feel. They're kind of sticking out one way and another like she's dancing or frolicking in a field or you know whatever princesses do. Next, I'm going to come back in and kind of give her face a more of a facey shape and add in her little eyes. So for these princesses, I'm just going to do some simple like closed eyes with thick eyelashes and keep it kind of simple that way. Next comes her hair. So my favorite hair for Belle is when she has it parted in the middle, of course, and pulled back, but she has the rest of her hair down long. I think it makes it look more elegant than her little bun updo. So that's what I'm doing for this piece. Next, we're going to come back in and give the texture of her ball gown. So her ball gown is separated into sections vertically. Okay, now it's time for some real details. So between each of those vertical sections, she has these little loops that go underneath. So kind of add in those details as you go. Let's make her book look a little more realistic. Give a little curves at the top and bottom to make it look like they have pages. Here I'm going to draw a cute little lip down at the bottom and then on the left and right I'm going to do a very light circle to kind of show you where we're going to add pink for her cheeks later, but that's not something that's going to be inked over whenever we get to the ink. Then add in some extra lines in her hair to kind of show it flowing down plus that nice V cut on the top of her dress. Last but not least, let's draw kind of the vague outline of a castle. Just so just kind of work your way from top to bottom, showing some possible towers and things. Okay, time for the fun part. So whenever I ink, I usually like to start around the face because that tends to be the most important part. So always start with the hair first because it's going to overlap the face at some point or another. And then kind of work on your face, work on those details, and once you have those hashed out, then you can worry less about the dress and the arms and the feet and whatever because the facial expressions and everything around the face is going to be the visual focal point of the piece anyway.
Okay, let's go back and erase our work so that we can get ready for watercolor. So just like we practiced in our palette video, I designed it so that I would do pink for the lightest parts and then work our way to purple and indigo. So I added purple to the bottom of that dress to kind of give it a little bit of shade and a little bit of depth. These two colors mix really easily and really well. Since her dress is that light yellow and her hair is that dark brown color, I'm coming back in with her hair with a dark purple color to kind of give it that contrast. Okay, time to come back in with some cobalt blue to give it a little more depth and shadow, especially on the right side because my imaginary sun is going to be on the top left of the paper. Because the castle is far, far away, I'm going to use that blue and black mixture way watered down to kind of give it that uh, far distant color. I want it to have some shadow, but nothing too detailed. Okay, time for my favorite part. I like to take the little bit of pink and go over her cheeks. And then if it looks like it'll be too much when it dries, just kind of dab it with a little paper towel. Okay, here's our final product. I hope you enjoyed making Belle. She is one of my favorite princesses, and I think it came out really well. So if you're proud of your product, feel free to tag me on Instagram at artbyisla. I would love to see your work. Thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to like and subscribe so that you can follow along with the next two princesses that we do. See you later.